comment or eat. another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you my ultimate tech travel kit. I just came back from a trip to Sonoma, California so I figured what better time to show you off. So starting off with the larger things which is my luggage. This is the Remoa Original Cabin which is actually the first luggage I bought which I plan on keeping for a pretty long time. Overall I feel super sturdy, high quality and it gets tons of compliments anywhere I go. I've also been adding these different stickers from the different cities I've been visiting, which I plan to add much more in the future. Also, it literally has some of the smoothest wheels I've ever felt on the luggage, which is kind of an overlooked thing. But funny enough, look at what happens to mine. It has a crack here on the lock, which I don't even know how it happened. But one of the main selling points of these Remoas are the lifetime warranties. So hopefully they'll be able to take care of that for me. So then on top of my luggage goes my backpack, it's a Brevite runner, which is a minimal looking camera bag. Cause you know, not everywhere do you want to be carrying around a bag where it's obvious that you're carrying around some expensive gear. So yeah, some of the features include this very convenient luggage strap, these dividers to split up your gear inside, some tripod straps on the bottom, and it pretty much has everything that I needed from a camera bag. Also pro tip, I like to slip in an air tag in this back pocket which is a little bit hidden the only thing that i do wish was that they made a waterproof version instead of this cotton as the only choice but yeah overall i give this backpack a thumbs up then for my travel camera i have the sony a7c2 which is an awesome lightweight full frame camera that does both photo and video really good i initially bought it for photography but i've been very impressed with its video capabilities as well I like that I can also shoot an S-Log and easily match the colors of my main camera. But due to how small and travel friendly it is, I've been pretty convinced to start taking just this on my trips. This is how I would usually configure this camera with this Sennheiser MKE 400 mic. Also, sometimes you'll see me using the DJI mic for my videos. I have this 35mm 1.8 lens for photos and for videos. This rather hefty 24-70 G Master lens. And for photos, I usually put on this Peak Design Lee strap, which has these quick release. So yeah, overall super happy with this hybrid camera and just how versatile it can be. Then for my tripods, I have the Peak Design carbon fiber tripod, which is what my camera is currently mounted on. I bought it used for like half the price and I was just intrigued by the carbon fiber build. In fact, a lot of my gear, I try to get used because you can just get so much better deals on it. I like the B&H used department or even on Amazon, they usually have it like on the right side. But overall, it has some nice features like vertical recording support. Also, you can hang your camera from it to record straight down. And it has this little holder for the Allen wrench, which is convenient just to have it there. I also have this secondary mini tripod by Manfrotto, which is just much better if you're doing like run and gun shoot or more of a vlog style shooting. Also, just really good quality on this too has this button so you can easily orientate your camera and yeah those are my two tripods then moving away from camera gear i have my apple watch ultra which i've been having for just a bit of time but i've been loving it at first i was a little concerned having this huge screen on my wrist but i got used to it i have the action button map to starting a workout so whether i'm running or at the gym it's pretty much always with me also having the maps on this larger screen has been super handy and I'm getting around places or walking or on my bike. As for my computer, I have this 14 inch MacBook Pro in space gray, which is much better to be carrying around than the 16 inch. And of course, this is such an awesome computer, which I would always recommend even at the base config, which is how I have it. But talking about base config, sometimes you do need that extra storage when you're on the go which is why I have this Samsung T7 Shield. It's a one terabyte SSD that's really fast and this is where I edit my videos from when I'm on the go. It's rugged but pretty grippy and I've had zero problems with it. So yeah, I'm really happy with the MacBook Pro 14 inch which is where I do all my video editing and coding or just learning new things. But talking about learning new things, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Skillshare. As a new creator in the game, I'm always trying to find and learn of new ways to make my videos even better. And on Skillshare, I'm doing just that. This is the biggest online learning community for all the creatives out there with over 600,000 learners. 
There's tons of classes taught by industry experts you may all know and love in everything from film, illustration, design, productivity, and more. Skillshare is the place to level up your career, skills, hobbies, passions, or even that side hustle you've been working on. It's the perfect platform to take your learning to the next level. Right now, I'm going through this class to learn more about YouTube success, where I get to explore a new way to plan, shoot, and edit videos. But the coolest part is that I have Marquez of MKBHD as my teacher. But again, it's more than just content creation. There are multiple categories of classes like design, animation, and even programming. So whatever creative field you're trying to master with your extra time this summer, I'm sure you'll find it here on Skillshare. So yeah, go kick off your summer of learning. And the first 500 people who sign up using my link down in the description gets a free one month trial. And of course, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And can't forget about the phone, of course. I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which I skipped on the 15, but I'm pretty sure I'll get the 16 for the new Apple intelligence features. So I've been rocking it with no case for these past years and no cracks, luckily. But I do sometimes attach these slick accessories from Moft. Which one of them actually has a slot for a card, and this other one can work as a larger tripod. So you could prop your phone up wherever you want. Then to pair up with my phone for my music, I have the AirPods Pro Max, which I really love for the airport for the noise canceling and sound quality. So I'm not hearing that cabin noise. Supposedly the version two of the AirPods Pro Max are coming out pretty soon. So I'll be on the lookout for those maybe. And then I do also pack my AirPods Pro with me, which weighs almost nothing. So yeah, I prefer these much more if I'm doing anything that requires a lot of movement. Then sometimes when I do want to be a little bit more extra with my cinematic shots, I do pack my drone, which is the DJI Mini 3 Pro. And again, just really prioritizing the weight here. It's pretty amazing if it's here in the palm of my hand. I did get the RC remote, which has a super bright screen, which is useful out there in the sunlight. And I do pack some extra propellers in here because I have had my fair share of drone accidents. Talking about drone accidents, let me show you. So here actually the gimbal got a little bit cracked, which I'm not sure if that's hard to see. And when I'm flying it, it does make a buzzing sound, but it's fine because drones don't capture audio anyways. So yeah, this is super good if you wanna capture some drone shots while you're out traveling. And lastly, some of my other essentials include my sunglasses and my wallet. For my sunglasses, I have these Wayfair style from Warby Parker. For about two years already, I like them because they're minimal and don't have any branding on them. Sometimes people think they're super expensive when in reality they were 80 bucks. And lastly, there's my wallet, which is this DR card holder. And yeah, pretty understated. I really like how minimal it looks and it's leather from the inside and some fabric from the outside. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, you can see I prioritize more lightweight tech, but not ones where you have to sacrifice on performance. Let me know what you think and if you would like to see more tech videos like this because I really enjoy making them. And as always, see you on the next video.